welcome to my channel if you're new don't forget to subscribe if you're returning thank you so much for coming back but today's video I'm going to be coloring my hair as you saw from the title we're gonna be coloring my hair I'm gonna attempt we're gonna speak good over this and positivity we're going to color our hair so I have some color here um, this is the dark and lovely fade resist it says that it's new um, it's in the color 380 chestnut blonde I'm gonna be using this to color in my hair I'm not gonna follow the directions um, this is the first time I have never really followed the directions but I'm gonna let it process for an hour now I've seen people do this I've watched some videos so I know people do this so I'm not crazy but I'm praying that this goes well. Now, I'm not too concerned about my hair. I don't think it's gonna like damage my hair or anything for letting it process longer than the instructions say. Because it says that it only gets to a certain color, but I know that it's not really gonna get blonde like that. So, instead of it having it this weird brownish color, I'm gonna process it a certain way to see if it'll get to the level of blonde that I want without using like actual bleach. So yeah, this is kind of an experiment, I guess. So yeah, we're about to get into this. Hope you guys are ready. Have my color. Let's get started. So this is my hair right now. As you can see, the size. I cut it last night, and I thought about it afterwards. Sorry, I got oil in my hair. Um, let me take my glasses off so you can see it. But I cut it last night. Um, this is one side, and I thought about it while I was cutting. Like maybe I should record this but I didn't record it so this is what it looks like I just cleaned it up because I had already cut it like tapered it but this is what it looks like this is where we're at right now so I did condition my hair last night I didn't wash it because I don't really shampoo my hair like that um I co-washed it I conditioned it last night because I cut it last night and I was trying to get the hair out so I um, co-washed it, but I added a lot of oil and a little bit of leave-in conditioner, like moisturizer, so it wouldn't be super, super squeaky clean, and to coat my scalp, um, to protect it from the color. So I hope it's okay. I think that it's okay if I color it, praying that it is. Um, yeah, so if y'all see oil dripping, that's because I coated my scalp, like, real heavy last night in earlier today and I went outside and it is like I don't know how hot it is in Charlotte today but it's hot and it was baking my hair and the oil starting to drip so y'all see some oil don't judge me but yeah like I said I have my box of color here I'm not going to um use the thing like the squeeze bottle that the color you're supposed to put the color in well I'm going to use it to mix it up but I'm not going to use it to apply it to my hair I'm going to squeeze it into this little dish here so I have a little dish and I have a little um angle color brush I got from Shea Moisture like years ago but I'm going to use this to put the color in here and just apply it to my hair from here because what I'm going to do you guys I'm going to apply it to the tips of my hair first I'm going to let that process for 30 minutes let it sit and then I'm going to come back and add more to my roots and my edges and everything and let that process for 30 minutes. So if it does get to a weirdish brown, my roots will be darker and my tips will be lighter. So it won't, it will kind of be like an ombre look. It won't look like just one solid weird color, have some sort of dimension to it. So that's what we're attempting to do today. Like I said, fingers crossed, hope and pray this goes well. Yeah, I think, I don't think we'll talk through this. I think I'm going to play some music and let you guys just watch me because I want to finish listening to Brent Fayez. So I'm going to play a beat for y'all while I do this and I will come back to you when I'm done putting the color in my hair.
um, 30 minutes. Let me see where my timer is at. I have about seven minutes left, so 20 some minutes, and I'm going to check to see how far we've come. Whew. Okay, I mean, I see it getting brown. It's light brown, as I expected. But like I said, I really don't want it brown. I mean, it could be brown. Now I'm trying to get my, my mind together. I want it to be a little bit lighter than brown. I want it to be a little bit brighter. So I'm going to leave the color that's on top where it is. But I'm going to start to massage it down to my roots. So where my hair is still black at, that will start to develop. So my roots will probably be this color in the end. And then hopefully, prayerfully, the top will get a little bit lighter. But... I'm going to let this sit a little bit longer. Let me see. I got about six minutes left. So I'm going to leave my cap off, my um, shower cap off, and let this sit for the rest of the time. Um, to, so it will be 30 minutes total. And then I will apply the rest of it to my roots and let that sit for 30 minutes as well. And then I'll come back um, to show you guys the product after I rinse it all out. washing and I rinsed it out and yeah let's see what it looks like and I told you guys know I do have a towel on I'm not naked so yeah let's see what it looks like I'm actually a little bit nervous I don't know why I'm nervous but let's see my eyebrows look crazy hold on okay let's see mm, it's not bad it's not bad I mean it came to the sandy blonde I guess oh it's cute cute oh it's nice I am glad though that I let it develop a little bit more than instructed it looks really cute it looks kind of like a natural color I like it it's cute it's cute all right and I feel like you can see my curls more I mean I don't have any products so can't really see it see it Oh, it's showing up red on camera. I don't know why it's showing up like that. Yeah, it's showing up red on camera. I don't know why it's showing up like that. But it's like a sandy brown. Ooh, you can see my scalp, baby. Got little sparse areas. But yeah, this is what it looks like with no product, just rinsed out, um, nothing in it. I'm gonna go ahead and style it up, put some makeup on, and I will show you guys the last result. Yeah, so these are my final results. I am very pleased with the outcome. Now, when I got out of the shower, the only thing I did was I added some oils. I added Jamaican black castor oil and also tea tree oil. I added two different um, leave-in conditioners, and one was a curl activator. And then I added the Miss Jessie's soft curls. And when I put the Miss Jessie's in, I just went in a circular motion with my hand around my hair just to direct the curls and give it some sort of form to it. And then I did do Eco Styler Gel on my edges. Try to get a little swoop the doop going, as y'all can see. But like I said, I'm very pleased with the results of my hair. Um, I'm not sure if the over-processing was necessary to do the 30 and 30 
um, because it kind of turned out the same. Now, I will say a little bit, I can tell in my roots, they look a little bit more chocolate than the tips, but it's pretty much the same. Do what you please, but I like the way that it turns out. I do have a slight bit of a gradient toward the bottom of my hair, which I do like. Um, but yeah, do what you please, but I love this color, the Dark and Lovely Fade Resist. Now, this is the same brand and line that I used in my previous video for my mom's hair, the red color that I did um, on her comb coils. So if you didn't see that, go check that out. But this is the same um, line and also brand that I use. So if you guys, you know, are in the house bored like me on quarantine, nothing to do, <laughs> and you want to look for a new color, I do recommend the Dark and Lovely Fade Resist line. And I think that the color looks very good with my skin tone and it's just something fresh and new for the summertime so let me know how you guys like it leave me a comment let me know um if you like my content and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and like i said if you're new don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye